Welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. The weekend blizzard along the East Coast could have a relatively small economic impact, up to $850 million. Experts say because the storm hit on a weekend and there weren't any major power outages, that means there was little lost for government and for businesses. Well, coffee machine maker Curry Green Mountain says it's working to make K-Cups more recyclable. The company pledged two years ago to convert two recyclable K-Cups by 2020. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds. Even if the K-Cups were made from recyclable plastic, they can't be sorted out by the MRF machinery because they're too small. Quicksilver Resources was sold for $245 million on the auction block. A Tulsa firm bought Quicksilver's assets after the energy company that became one of the faces of the Barnett Shale before falling into bankruptcy last year. Well, lots of small cap companies making news today. Here's a look in today's small cap wrap. Anworth Mortgage Board added 5 million shares to its buyback program. Chenier Energy seeking $2.5 6 billion to refinance an LNG import plant. Del Taco Restaurants has seen the lockup expire on its shares. Escalade Sports purchased Triumph Sports, no terms disclosed. Houghton Mifflin may be ready to rebound, according to Barron's. Inland Real Estate says DRA growth reported an 11% stake in the company. And Lexicon Pharma selling a facility for $21 million. Vern, Vernet X's patent trial versus Apple gets underway today. Well, David Einhorn's Greenlight Capital poised to appoint a director at Sun Edison following a collapse in the solar power company stock price and the departure of some senior executive. That's according to people familiar with the matter. The agreement, which could be announced this week, would give Greenlight a greater say on one of its most problematic investments. Sun Edison has slashed jobs, sold assets, and raised new debt amid a sharp decline in its share price since July. That's fueled investor concerns about its liquidity and the durability of its business model. And shares of Grubhub jumped more than 8.5% after the company authorized a $100 million stock buyback program and said it plans to negotiate terms of a credit facility up to $200 million to increase its financial flexibility and aggressively pursue growth opportunities. Grubhub also pre-announced fourth quarter sales results, which were slightly above expectations. It's anticipating revenue at the high end of the $98 to $100 billion range. Shares of Grubhub have been down 38% over the last three months.